Mavericks from aboard Smuggler's Blues with some very exciting news. We have a fantastic new toy and it's in this box here. So we're going to start off with a YouTube unboxing. First one I've ever done. No idea how this will go. Let's start like that. In here should be I have no idea. I know what it is, but I've never opened one of these before, so let's go a look. That is the latest model Torquedo electric outboard engine. It's exciting times. That's a tiller on. With the controls. Like so. And that there. That's it. That is a Torquedo outboard. It just needs a, a battery fitting, a tiller arm fitting, and it should be good to go. Let's see what else we've got in here. Let's put that down over there for a moment. Right, down the seats. That's the battery, that's the heavy bit. There it is, that's the power. So uh, those are the three components. This goes with that, that goes in it, and we're pretty much good to go. So I have a dinghy, the idea now is to set the sail round to Dartmouth. We're gonna launch the dinghy, put all this together, and see how it works. There's a few other toys as well, just to mention. So I'll put that there. But in here, I think I'm right in saying, Neatly done, wasn't it? This is a solar charger. So this means that we can run off the sun, literally off the sun. Look at that, that's fantastic. So we're going to give that a go, see how effective that is at charging it up. And, uh, and there's another box, I think. Is there another box or was that it? No, there's another box here. Uh, I know what that is, that's just a 12-volt power supply. So the idea is that we can plug this directly into the boat and charge it up if we want to. We can charge it off the sun, but well, it's also a 240-volt charger as well, so we can charge it at home. So that's about the size of that. That's the grand unboxing. So we're going to head to Dartmouth and we're going to go and play with it, see if it works. Okay, so stage one, this is my brand new XL260 dinghy. It's a rather excellent piece of kit. The reason I chose this dinghy is because it has an inflatable floor, not a hard floor, and therefore it rolls up very, very small and it only weighs 19 kilograms. So it's a really compact thing and it fits the boat rather neatly. So we're gonna inflate this fellow. It's likely that at some stage, there will be an electric pump because this is all right, but it's just gonna be boring after a while. Anyway, check back soon, viewers. Okay, so that's the dinghy inflated. And it wasn't as bad as I thought actually, but uh, I let you pack it so it could be a nice thing. Anyway, time to launch, see if it floats. Here we go. I named this ship HMS Tender 2 Smugglers Blues 2. God bless all who sail in her. And let's hope it floats. Yeah, look at that. Free. Now that is absolutely splendid. 
but it is quite hard work. What I need is an engine, and that, if you remember rightly, is where we came in. Okay, so this is a, a little bit James Bond because in here is the outboard. That's the outboard itself. And this fellow is the power supply, that's the battery. So, never put this together before. So rather than doing a long, painful video about it, I think I'm just going to have a go at setting this all up. And we'll be back to you shortly. Okay, we think we've got this sussed out. We're going to have a go. Now, one of the many advantages of this, and I'll do a separate video on why I chose a torpedo electric engine on another occasion. But one of the many advantages is the fact you can keep this in the cabin locked away. And there's no oil to leak out, there's no petrol, no nothing. So, this is the main body of it. And according to the instructions, this needs to go on first. Okay, so we get that safely in first, get me installed. Stage one is complete. Okay, what's next? Tiller arm, this is quite handy because it's very light and when you leave the boat anyway, you can actually take this off and it makes the outboard pretty useless to anybody else. So, we can wait for the boat wash to go past. Look at that, that is dead easy. I've never done this before, I should add. This is literally the first time I've even seen one of these. So that's a good start. The last thing we need now is the battery power to go on the back. So let's grab that next. Okay, so this little pouch here is the battery. Quite a neat little thing, because you can carry it home with that. Charge it up at home if you want to. And this is it, again. Don't want to drop this, it's quite heavy, but decent sturdy handle on that. So let's see if we can figure out how it goes. That looks good. That's it, done. And there's a plastic thing I saw that goes through there. So let's go and grab that. Okay, these are the final bits. So this goes in here. Make sure we don't lose it. And that's a kill switch, very important that you have this connected to yourself so that goes there and that clips onto here wherever really so that if you fall in the engine stops good done so that goes in there that one goes in there but I don't know is how much power this ship with and you're supposed to charge it before you use it it says so this will be a very short play if it's not fully charged but that should have us live. Power button here. Yep, lit up. 78% charged. I think we'll get away with that. So, I'm going to untie us from here. Well, let's just try it first, see if it actually works. So I reckon if I twist that. <gasps> oh, that's fantastic. My God, that's so quiet. Right. Okay, that's that. Make sure it's absolutely out of the water so it doesn't go around the propeller. Bring that around here. Grab my GoPro. Let's try it. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. So, that goes back on there. They're all powered up. Let's try it. <laughs> How fantastic is that? That is virtually silent. I don't know if you can even pick it up on a microphone. There's the faintest of hums, but we are boating utterly silently. That is just fantastic. Here we go, skip to the throttle. That's got some power. That is just brilliant. That is just brilliant. So the 
Let's get up here. Oh, now you see what I've done there. <laughs> so I've pulled the cable out, but at least we know it works. Okay, we need to stay within range of that. Okay, that's that back on. Okay, and now you go back from neutral and back to ahead. That, I am so, so impressed with that. That is a thing of genius. So when you get to this sort of speed there is just a bit more noise, but I mean compared to a petrol engine it is nothing, but you drop it back to here and that's it, you are silent boating. You really are silent boating, you can't hear it at all. It's just fantastic. And look, there's smugglers in the background. Oh, what a machine. Okay, let's head on back. Take a look to the other side. There we go, look at that, what a nice boat that is. Anyway, that's it. That is the unboxing and first use of the Torquedo outboard. This one is a Travel 1103C. It's a brand new model of 2019 and it's a really nice bit of kit. There's gonna be a lot more stuff on this engine on this channel. Hopefully we're gonna try a few different things with it. So um, if you're into electric outboards, worth subscribing and staying in touch. It'll let you know there's new videos on the subject on the channel. Okay, take care.